Hi, I'm Tommy from Indie Tommy Tips from TommyProductions.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Miramax gutter filter. These panels come in three foot sections and they're sold in four inch, five inch, and six inch widths. This one's actually like six and a half inches wide, probably six inches here, and I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Before you install these guards, it's a good idea to clean your gutters out. You certainly don't want to cover over debris and sediment and leaves. Sometimes you find things that look like dead squirrels. It's not. It's actually insulation. You want to get yourself a bucket with a handle. You want to remove leaves. And one of the things that you really find in the bottom of the gutters is um, asphalt sediment. And uh, you can scrape this out with a trowel like this put it in your bucket and once you get it all together you get a garden hose and you'd wash all the sediment to one direction towards the downspout. In order to do a good job and to remove the junk that's in the gutters Sometimes you have to take these elbows apart and sometimes you'll find a screw on either side of the elbow and you'll take it apart, shake it out, get rid of the junk and uh, don't forget to screw it together. These gutter filters are a lot better than this old type of netting. Here's the Ameramax and here's the junk that you normally insert. This usually has a tendency to fly right out or move inside the gutters and just collapse and allow dirt in there. Look at this panel. It actually has a mesh over top of a diamond-like hole. I guess these holes are maybe about the thickness of a head of a pencil eraser and it's what prevents the leaves from clogging the gutters. We're going to install these under the shingles on top of the wood making sure that it doesn't get caught in between the asphalt shingles because near the edge there's like a double layer of shingles and it's very possible it could get caught in there while you're trying to slide it in and slide it on top of the wood. Make sure it's at least 50 degrees or higher because you don't want to try to lift up frozen shingles. It could break. I'm going to demonstrate how these go side by side. See where they join here? You don't want to just slide them underneath and put them side by side because that would create a weak gap here. So what we're gonna do is overlap them by about a thumb amount. I'm just using the common scissors. It's kind of junky and to turn it over and cut a piece off like that. You got it in the shot. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it over and Cut it off on the other side. It'd be better if you had something like metal shears. It would do a better job. Okay, we're going to lift up the shingle, making sure that it goes all the way under. Here we are in Jersey, mid-November. It's kind of cold. It would have been a lot better if I had done this in the spring. Certainly not in the summer. It'd be too hot. I'd be burning my fingers on the hot asphalt. Then again, I could wear gloves, but that would make sense. So here we are at the edge, and you could see where I cut the edge. It's caught. Cool. Got to get it on top. I'm adjusting it, and here's our line, and it's overlapping about a finger's width. I'm gonna line it up and snap it in place snapping it all the way down and you can see these two pieces just here and here we have two in place and we have a good seam right here it's overlapped about three quarters of an inch almost an inch it's not real windy today but normally you probably wouldn't want to put these gutter protectors on top of the roof because the wind would blow them off like that <laughs> so we're gonna put our third piece in I tried to snap these in over the lip and I was having a hard time, so I'm pushing it back under. And sometimes what happens is there's a little bulge on the lip and it's usually caused by one of these gutter hangers being in a different place and it causes a bulge. So what you need is to get some type of uh, channel locks or some type of pliers. If 
find out where the bulge is and smash it down. So it locks in place. Now let's try it. I'm gonna come in, lining it up, come close here. And we're pulling it into, into place, lift it up, snapping it, snapping it, and looks good. Here's the seam over here, and we have another finger width again, and it looks good. We have about two more to go, actually like one and a half. Okay. Sometimes your fingers get real dirty and my wife just loves it when I clean the shutter off with my shirt. Sometimes I use my underwear, like in the other video. Haha. Uh -huh. What was that other video's name? Gutter restoration. No, it was shutter, shutter restoration. restoration yeah. Not gutter restoration, it's shutter restoration on YouTube. And if you want to restore your shutters without painting them, you can use a clear coat spray. So check that out. But um Anyway, she's going to be real happy about this. At least I don't have to go down and get a rag that I forgot. There you are, we're done. It's a Miramax gutter filter. You can find it at Home Depot. I'm Tommy from Indie Tommy Tips. Thanks for watching. If you need any videos produced, you can find us at TommyProductions.com. And if you need any of your videos transferred, you can find us at videotransfercompany.com. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. 